How did Alan Richson go from auditioning on American Idol to having a very successful career? This is the story of Alan Richson. Alan Richson was born in Grand Forks, North Dakota. His family moved around a lot as they moved to Illinois and then settled in Niceville, Florida. He graduated high school in 2001 and he had big aspirations to become a singer. He ended up receiving a full music scholarship for singing, but he decided to drop out as he wasn't feeling fulfilled and he decided to switch lanes. He went to community college and graduated with an Associates of Arts degree. Shortly after finishing school, he got an opportunity to start modeling and that was what he decided to do. He pursued it for a couple of years, which ended up bringing him to Los Angeles. He even modeled for popular brands like Abercrombie and Fitch, but it just wasn't enough for him. He quickly saw his modeling friends weren't just modeling, but they were also pursuing other avenues like commercials and acting. This was when he decided to do another full 180 and switch up his path. So what did he do? He auditioned for the one and only American Idol. Yes, I'm serious, American Idol. He tried out on season two, and to his surprise, he did not make the cut. Judges Randy Jackson and Simon Cowell said no, but this didn't discourage him. He auditioned again the following season, but this time with a way better result. He ended up making the top 87, but this is where his American Idol journey unfortunately ended. Although it didn't work out, he continued singing, showing this was his first true love. But what did Alan do with his career? Another pivot. I didn't hurt anyone. Don't make me start now. Smallville. Richson made his first notable acting debut as Aquaman on the hit show Smallville. He appeared as a guest star from season 5 to season 10. Richson's portrayal of Aquaman was very well received by both fans and critics, with many praising his charm and the dynamic he brought to the character. He was quite literally the first actor to ever play Aquaman in an officially licensed live action production. His appearance on Smallville helped to expand the show's universe and introduce audiences to a new interpretation of the classic superhero. His role as Aquaman on Smallville served as a stepping stone in his career, paving the way for future opportunities opportunities in film and television. Overall, Richson's portrayal of Aquaman on Smallville remains a memorable and influential part of both his own career and the superhero genre on TV. Blue Mountain State. Richson's next big role was in the series Blue Mountain State, a show revolving around a fictional football team and their lives on and off the field. He played the character Thad Castle, the over-the-top and hilarious captain of the Blue Mountain State football team. Thad is a very cocky, aggressive, and egotistical player, with a love for partying and causing havoc both on and off the field, to which Richson absolutely killed this role. Richson's portrayal of Castle received widespread acclaim for his comedic timing and his ability to bring depth to a character that could have easily been one-dimensional and stale. His performance helped bring the show more much needed humor and provided audiences with a memorable and entertaining central figure. Although the show was short lived, it's built quite the cult following over the years and people absolutely love it. The show played a big role in forwarding his acting career, helping him land his next big role, which was. We're not going by choice. The Hunger Games Catching Fire Richson's transition from TV to the big screen was seamless, as he starred in one of the biggest franchises at the time. He played Gloss, who was a District 1 tribute and former Hunger Games winner. He's more of a villain figure, being very dangerous and threatening, which was pretty different from the type of character Richson was known to play. Unfortunately for Richson fans, without spoiling, let's just say his role as Gloss didn't last very long. His portrayal of Gloss was brief but memorable, capturing the character's menacing presence and lethal abilities. His role in Catching Fire contributed to the film's action-packed story line and added depth to the diverse set of characters in the world of Pan Am. Although at this point Richson was becoming very successful, he still had his tough times like us all. He's been very open about his struggles with mental health, even describing his diagnosis with bipolar disorder. He's talked about how hard it is to deal with on a daily basis, but surprisingly enough he said it also really helps him with acting. He said on a podcast with Michael Rosenbaum that he can experience things as a character because he can tap into such wide-ranging emotions so deeply and authentically so fast. He also spoke about how he had one of the best years of his career and accomplished a variety of things, but it was too much. It was so much on his plate, it actually made him go manic. He was having an identity crisis, not knowing what his purpose was in life, which really affected his mental health. He fell into a deep depression, where he struggled getting up in the morning, wanting to sleep all the time, and felt like he was a burden to his family. He even went to the lowest of lows and tried to you know. But the great news is he kept on pushing, kept holding on, and things really got better for him. He's able to deal with his struggles of bipolar and depression while still being at the top of his game in his career. He's a huge advocate for mental health and continues to be very open and honest about his experiences, inspiring others that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Look, we can talk and like have cookies and milk or something. <laughs> Titans.
In 2018, Richardson found his way back into the DC universe in the series Titans. He played the one and only Hank Hall, who's also known as Hawk. Hank is a former pro athlete who, along with his brother Don, becomes a crime-fighting vigilante after a traumatic event in their past. His journey of self-discovery and redemption is a focal point throughout the series, showcasing Richardson's versatility as an actor in both action-packed and emotionally charged scenes. Richardson's initial deal was only for two episodes, but he was so good that he was promoted to a series regular for the second season. But that was when, unfortunately, the showrunners ended up deciding to reduce the number of characters and Richardson was written out of the series. He played Hank in the show for two seasons and the show was canceled after four. It started off hot, but never really seemed to catch fire. See what I did there? Overall, Richardson's portrayal of Hank Hall and Titans was a standout performance. The lackluster experience on Titans caused Richardson to have his doubts with streaming services as it was picked up by HBO Max at the time. It caused him to lower his expectations and even had him doubting his next role, which ended up being his biggest and best to date. You boys knew what's about to happen to you. You'd leave now. Reacher. In 2022, Amazon Prime released their new series, Reacher, with Alan Richson in the leading role playing Jack Reacher. Jack Reacher is a former U.S. military police officer who has just recently entered normal life. When he arrives at a small town in Georgia, he's somehow framed for a murder he did not commit. Based on the popular books written by Lee Child, Richson had to fight for this role, and believe it or not, he almost didn't get it. He was even passed on originally when he auditioned for the role, mainly due to the fact that he was two inches shorter than Jack Reacher in the books, which is kind of weird, considering Tom Cruise played Jack Reacher in the two films that were made at a staggering five foot seven. Before the show hit Prime Video, it wasn't entirely clear that Reacher would become as popular as it ended up being. Richardson explained how he went into the whole thing with low expectations due to his experience with Titans, but to his surprise, it blew up. The first season of Reacher gained a massive 1.84 billion minutes viewed across all episodes in just the first few days. Numbers like these rivaled some of the top Netflix series. It very quickly got renewed for a second season, and at the time of this recording, is the number one title of the year on Prime Video in terms of viewership. It's safe to say Richson's expectations were blown out of the water with this one. Richson had to get into insane shape for this role, describing how he had to intake 4,000 calories a day just to stay in shape for the show. He also works out five days a week to maintain his massive physique. His hard work came at a cost though. As he said, his training was so intense, it got to the point where he couldn't breathe and needed surgery. He got a blood panel done and found out he had no testosterone left. This caused him to start taking testosterone and has been a big advocate of it for people in their 40s or above. Although some find this controversial, he said he's in it for the long game and wants to do Reacher for 15 years if he can, which may not be too unrealistic considering it got renewed for a third season two weeks before season two even came out. Reacher solidified that Richson could be in a leading role and be a proficient action hero. He talks about how the show completely changed his career, landing roles on films like Fast X where he played Agent Ames. Fans are even now wanting him to be casted as Batman for James Gunn's DCU, and he wouldn't be opposed to playing the classic character. He's expressed to be a real honor and privilege to play Batman as Batman was one of the first characters he fell in love with as a kid i would look i would love to i, I would absolutely love to um it's uh one of the coolest characters of all time and I, it's one of the first characters i fell in love with as a child I, I i still remember the the big long shotgun coming out of joker's pants yeah as he goes to shoot down the the bat plane you know those iconic moments really resonated with me as a child he also stars in a new film called ordinary angels in which he co-stars alongside hillary swank Alan Richson has definitely come a long way from American Idol. He's a true embodiment of reinventing yourself and finding what works for you. He's never settled and kept pushing himself to try new things leading to a successful career. It's safe to say that he's now entering a phase of his career where he's now a massive name in Hollywood. Through his tough times and his good times, Richson has found a way to adapt and keep going. And now he inspires millions on a daily basis. Make sure to leave a like on the video if you found his story interesting. And remember to subscribe because every bro loves a story.